PFL, the Pajama Football League. What? How do you think you will perform in the Pajama Football League as the number one overall pick? Man, let me tell you this, man. I'm the best prospect. Not, I might be. I'm the best, best prospect to come out of the last century. Okay? I, I ran, what? I was, had over 6,000 receiving yards. I wasn't even trying. I had my shoes on top. It's gonna be nothing for me, man. It's easy, all right? I do this in my sleep. I do this in my day, my day job, all right? I can get it done, all right? Shoot, I liked his answer, man. That shows some confidence. Okay, I mean, even the best players have off days. Uh, I think that was probably just once, a one-time problem. If it happens twice, that'll be pretty bad. Okay, this isn't good. Maybe running back? Okay, maybe not. One more handoff. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you know, you did really well. You did spectacular. Great job, great job. You really suck. Get the hell out of here. Oh my god, that was probably the worst experience ever. He makes Ryan Leaf look like the greatest of all time. We're going with a optimistic scenario here. We're doing what if Ryan Leaf was the GOAT? So uh, for a little background story out of Ryan Leaf, or of Ryan Leaf is he was, um, him and Peyton Manning were coming out of the, he, they were both coming out of college and entering the draft at the same time. They were one and two. They were virtually like, you know, Jared Goff and Carson Wentz. They were one and two. Um, but yeah, so, you know, Peyton Manning was, you know, the hard worker, not the greatest physical specimen. Um, and on the other side of the ball, or, <laughs> get it, because they're playing football? Okay, was Ryan Leaf, who was the physical specimen, who, the guy who didn't have a ceiling, the guy that had unlimited potential. However, he did have some red flags coming out, or yellow flags coming out of college on his maturity and his, uh, um, ability to work hard, his work ethic. So... Um, Ryan Leaf coming out of Washington, Washington State got drafted second and honestly out of um, he you know he had to go to the rookie symposium or and he didn't go that's already a huge flag he didn't go he got fined 10,000 so yeah that virtually summed up his career Ryan Leaf was one of the biggest busts of all time I think he played three years in San Diego then went to Dallas maybe went to another team then got cut in out of his career he uh Threw for about like I don't know. The, don't don't take me on specifics. But it was like 16 touchdowns and 38 picks, or 14 touchdowns, 38 interceptions. Those are terrible stats. It's not even that. Even after uh, the NFL, he actually went to jail for I believe two years for Vicodin for painkillers. So, you know, he just he w he wasn't meant to be, man. He wasn't the hard worker. He he didn't have it in him. Ever since he came out of college, no offense to him, but I mean, you know, facts say it all. But so what we're doing today is what if he was the GOAT? We're doing what if he panned out how he was supposed to pan out. Now let's take a look at Ryan Leaf's stats. So I don't know why it's saying he's a scrambling QB. Uh, 67 strength, 77 agility, 75 speed, 78 acceleration. He was a, he was physically gifted. He was um, he could move in the pocket. 91 awareness, because in this case he was aware. If it was actually him, it'd be like 50. 97 throw, 97 throw power as he had a cannon on him. Um, we gave him pretty great throwing attributes with 84 short, 92 medium, 78 deep, throwing the run, 70 play action, 91 guys. But yeah, so Ryan Leaf capped off at a 94 overall. Now we're going to take on Peyton Manning, but let's take a look at his stats first, huh? So I felt like it was just right, guys, to take on the Colts' Peyton Manning as, um, you know, Ryan Leaf and Peyton Manning were one and two. You know, their, their, fa their you know, football careers will always be intertwined with the polar opposites of success and being a bust so this is prime Peyton Manning 99 strength 99 awareness 94 throw power look at those throwing attributes those are pretty high 90 play action yeah guys 99 Peyton Manning who will get better of whom prime Peyton Manning or the the hypothetical beast Ryan Leaf let's get to the game and of course we're gonna play this on all Madden we gotta give Ryan Leaf a test let's see if he can redeem himself so now let's get to the kickoff guys we are kicking off first we're giving the ball to the GOAT, well, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, uh, Peyton Manning. He's arguably up there, him, Tom Brady, Joe Montana, quite a few of them. But we take him down on the 23. And out comes the All-Pro QB, multiple MVP, future Hall of Famer, Peyton Manning. Remember, guys, this is the 99 prime Peyton Manning. He has 99 overall. The Colts like to run a lot, so I think they will go with the run to Frank Gore. It is. It's a draw. It's a draw. And great stuff by Manti and a holding call, too. Third and 11, we're going to back off and play a little cover one, Robert. 
Alright, we're gonna be on Teo. Watch the running back, watch the running back. He's cutting on the inside. And another sack! Let's get let's get the ball back. Fourth and 18. Let's get the offense the ball. Unless the special teams can score, which will be pretty fantastic. Alright, right. Let's go right. Can you outrun him? No, you can't. Oh, broken tackle. Juke, juke, juke. Oh my god. Oh god, guys, it's time for Riley to redeem himself. Okay, looks like a cover three. They're looking like they're reading as the safety's dropping. Uh, let's just go with the slam pass real quick just to get on rhythm real quick. Got him on the inside. Nice sling pass to Ken Allen. Good first pass. Thank God it wasn't a pick. Something that Riley did very many times. Second and ten. We're going to throw a ball to the corner. Let's see if Riley can throw the deep ball. Wait, I'm not liking this. We're going to have to take that slot cross and great pickup by Stevie Johnson. Let's see if this works. Go, go, go. Great block by Antonio. That is third and short. Fourth and two, guys. We are going to go for this after a no-yard run by Melvin Gordon, of course, because the offensive line sucks. Let's do this. Got him, got him. Please hold it, Keenan. Thank you. Whew. We needed that. We're going to go with the vertical trips concept. Let's see if this works. We see you, Antonio Gates. Looking for a block by Keenan. Good block. However, we could not get past the cornerback, but still, now we are in the red zone. I'm going to stick with the pass here. I don't feel very confident Melvin Gordon can get us in that end zone. We're going to go with the play action cross route. Blitz, blitz. Lob it, lob it. What a perfect pass. And that is seven points. Keenan Allen with the play. That was a very, very nice touch pass by Ryan Leaf, the greatest of all time. Not really. Remember, guys, it's fictional. Oh, my gosh. Ryan Leaf on the road to redemption here. We're going to be on Eric Weddle. Is it run the center? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Come on, find that gap. And we help take down Frank the Tank. Run, run, run. Power, power. Oh, we trip him up. Woo, we almost gave that play up. Let's see if we can shut down Peyton. Play action, play action. Inside, inside, drag, inside. We're here strapping up. Oh my god, what a perfect pass to T.Y. Hilton, man. Where are you going, Peyton? We're ready. Run. I mean, pass, my bad, pass. He throws it to the corner. Oh my god, Andre Johnson destroyed us. Run, 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 run. Tayo with another good stop. Okay, come on, come on, Denzel, come on. Where's he go? Oh my gosh, T.Y. is shredding us up. We will be on Eric Weddle. It has to be a run. They're running way too often. No, it's not, no, it's not. Follow the running back. Follow the running back. It's up, top. Woo! That was a touchdown of Kobe Fleeter, but Moncrief decided to jump up and try to play some hero ball and pretty much was the reason why Indianapolis didn't score on that play. We're going with the cornerback blitz now. We have to mix up the plays to get a Peyton Manning's head. To four verts, and that is a sack. Bow! Fourth and 14 after a great play by our defense. They are going to need to go for a field goal there. Looks like they're going to need to change up their game plan as they're running a lot and we're shutting it down, making second and third downs much more manageable. First and 10. They're playing really close. If that's a blitz, we should get Antonio Gates open. It is. Safety blitz. Time to time. It. Be patient. And Antonio Gates. He's looking like the prime version of him right now. It's man on man. We're going to take our curl route. And great catch by Keen Allen. Uh, timeout. Timeout. Uh, cover three, cover three. We should find Stevie on the inside then. And clutch catch. How'd he catch that timeout? We're going to lob that one up. Get out of bounds. Oh, my God. How did he not catch that? Third and ten, guys. It looks like a cover two sink. We're just going to chuck it up. Uh, why not? We're already in field goal distance. Oh, got him. That's Antonio Gates. No, that's Keenan. He's still fighting. And he's still going. All right, we got to take our field goal. So we, had, we didn't have enough time to get the field goal, guys. But it's all right. Um, we get the ball back. Let's redeem ourselves on this possession. So after a terrible kick return, we're now on the 12-yard line. We're going to go with the screen pass here. I hope this works. Yeah. We get blocks. Blo blo oh, my God. There's three of you and there's one guy. Um, Do we go with the slant? I think we go with the slant pass. Zone, zone, zone. Time it. Ah! Woo! First down by Malcolm Floyd. M80. Cover one. Cover one. Get that ball off to the check down. Great decision. Danny Woodhead making a big play. That's 15. We got to get this deep ball off, guys. We got to, but at the same time, curls get the girls. We're sending Malcolm Floyd on a curl round on this. Oh, check down open. He played a buck. Please get open, everybody. Oh, zones. And we get it. Antonio Gates is our go-to guy. Let's go, Danny Woodhead. Oh, my gosh. We, we might as well not even run. Third and nine guys are going to go the crossing route to Stevie. We've got to get this. Yep, 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 yep. Got him, got him. Please burn the defender. First down by Stevie Johnson. We're going to go with the deep post shot here. If we can get this, this will be seven points. 
Come on, Stevie. Come on. Cover two. Lob it. Lob it. Oh, what a catch. Seven points. Stevie Johnson with the crazy catch. That was perfect. He threw it up high, made sure it was not going to be pickable. But really more impressive by Stevie Johnson with a ridiculous catch. Watch that run. Yep, 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 yep. He runs to the outside. Come on. Oh. They're starting to run better, though. Okay, first and ten. We got to stop that run. We're going to fake a blitz, and we're going to go with a man-on-man. I hope this works. It's not a run this time. That's good. That's good. Hey, man, he has too much time in the pocket. Way too much time. He rolls out, and he throws it into Jason Verrett's hands. Oh, my. I mean, that is kind of Peyton Manning-like. He does throw picks in the fourth quarter, but um, I don't know. That's kind of funny. Oh my god, Ryan Leaf, can you put this game away with the deep bomb when it's man on man? Man on man, yes it is. Get rid of it, get rid of it. Man on man, come on, kid, come down with it! Oh no, Beckham esque! Our offensive line could never really hold up, but thank god for offensive line. Without them, we'd be doing nothing right now. Uh, I'm gonna put Stevie Johnson on inside slant, cover two. Alright, so roll out, throw it away, throw it away! We jinxed it. Come on, we can do this. Watch that blitz, we're gonna pinch that protection. Double A guy. Be patient, be patient, be patient, be patient. Throw it, just lob it. And we got hit again. Right when I said our offensive line was holding up. Now they're not. We're gonna have to sell for three points. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy by Josh Lambo, the former professional soccer player. Okay, guys, we're gonna go with the cover. We're actually gonna go man on man right here. I think that I'm liking that a bit better. Um, okay, crap, crap, crap. Get off. Oh my, oh! <laughs> Picked off by Eric Weddle. Great play by Brent Flowers. And then Eric Weddle capitalizing on the opportunity. But now he's with the Ravens. We're going to go with the skinny post here, guys. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try. We see you, Antonio Gates. We're going to have to take that check down. That check down turned into a big game, though. So we can't get the run game going, but maybe we go with the screen pass. Let's try it out. Oh, God, they're reading it. Wait. But Melvin Gordon outruns the linebackers and linemen, and that is seven points. Thank gosh, Melvin Gordon finally made a play. Hopefully he's not a bust like Ryan Leaf. Melvin Gordon's really not doing much, but at least he is in Madden. Um, I'll be on Jaleel Adai. We're going to watch that flat route, that check down. It is. We're going to go to this check down. We're strapping up top. We're covering well. But wait, Andre Johnson is wide open. Will we catch up? Come on. Thank you. Oh, my God. We had to give him a nasty hit out of frustration, but he's already up on the 10. We're going to be on Stucky to run, to run. We see it. Oh my god, I over pursued it. Take the blame. <laughs> that was terrible. They're gonna go with an onside kick here. Let's receive. Let's return this, guys. Thank gosh we are covered. Up by 14, guys. Let's just run this ball and try to waste some clock here. Um, I do want a field goal, though, to make a three possession game. Um, we're gonna run right up the center. Decent block. And Melvin Gordon with nine. Third and one, guys. All right, Ryan. QB sneak that in. Ah, he got it. First down. That could have just sealed up the game. Let's end this game, guys. No blocks. He broke the tackle. And Melvin Gordon, thank God, that was almost stripped. Third and long. Let's just go with one run up the center. I don't like to QB kneel. Um, let's just run and let's seal this game up, guys. Come on. Yep, yep. Decent blocks. And we go down, but that will seal up this game. We win 24-210. And honestly, a crazy performance by Ryan Leaf, the GOAT. Okay, he's really not the GOAT, but... It's part of the storyline, but let's take a look at the stats. It's like Fade saying, listen, out of you two, one of you had to be the bust. One had to balance out the other. One was yin to the other person's yin. You know what I'm trying to say? So I guess if Ryan Leaf was the yin, or, um, then Pei Mang was the yang. Ryan Leaf, 68% completion, 294 yards, three touchdowns, zero picks. Peyton Manning, however, had two interceptions, 138 yards. He only threw five times. Why did they only throw five times, guys? Um... But out of those throws, uh, two were picks. One was really just a great play by the defense. The other one was Peyton Manning uh, rolling out of the pocket, trying to do the most. Um, just like how he threw that pick in uh, the AFC Conference Championship two years ago versus the Ravens. Um, Melvin Gordon didn't do crap on the rushing attack. Frank Gore got 5.1 yards of carry with the touchdown receiving. We balled out, guys. Balled out with our balls out. Not really. Keen Allen, 93 yards, one touchdown. Antonio Gates had six receptions as well, 87 yards, 61 for Stevie to touch on. Oh my God, we spread the ball well to all of our weapons. And on defense, who got the interceptions? Eric Weddle, Jason Verrett. Um, Eric Weddle sadly has left, but it's all good. We still have Jason Verrett, Kendall Reyes with two sacks, and Brandon Flowers with one as well. But yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. 
But if there's one thing to take away from this, all right, listen, um, talent isn't everything. Talent is important, but what is talent if talent doesn't work hard? You know what I'm trying to say? Hard work will beat talent if talent doesn't work hard. For example, Peyton Manning. He wasn't the best physical specimen coming out of college like, um, like Ryan Leaf. However, who's the one who is arguably the greatest quarterback of all time now, huh? Peyton Manning isn't a physical specimen. Ryan Leaf was, but who's the greatest? Who's the better one? Who's in the hall future Hall of Fame now? Exactly. I'm going to wrap up the video here. Please work hard, guys. Work towards your dreams. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Leave some love down below in the comment section. I'm out. Love you guys.